Hello, I'm David Chaston with 9 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news of an improving Chinese economy. But first, localise will soon be on the RBNZ Fe February monetary policy statement, which will be released at 9 o'clock. We will have full coverage and analysis. And while we're waiting for our Reserve Bank to report, a former RBA board member has said Australia faces higher interest rates and a stronger dollar in 2017 as US inflation gathers momentum. If he is right, New Zealand will face the same. There are growing indications that the Chinese economy has started 2017 strongly. One indication is a recent rise in steel prices. That in turn is helping iron ore prices to rise and rise, largely to the benefit of Australia. In fact, iron ore shipment volumes are rising as well. Aussie mining stocks are back in favour again. In Canada, the latest data out there shows their housing market keeps on growing. Talk of a correction there hasn't eventuated yet. In Japan, they have recorded their biggest current account surplus in 2007, hitting a massive $184 billion in 2016. In India, their central bank unexpectedly left interest rates unchanged overnight, despite a slowdown in their economy. They have concerns over rises in global commodity prices and rises stemming from uncertainty in the American economic policy. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield is marginally lower today than at this time yesterday, now at 2.36%. Oil prices are marginally higher today and are just over $52 for the US benchmark, while the Brent benchmark is just over $55 a barrel. But high US stocks are limiting any substantial price moves higher. The gold price is also higher, continuing its run up and is now at $1,242 an ounce. The New Zealand dollar, however, is little changed from this time yesterday, still at 73.2 US cents. On the cross rates, we're at 95.7 Aussie cents, and against the euro, 68.4 euro cents. The TWI is at 78.5. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.